up everybody? I am here trying to show you the fastest way to change the seals in any XMR um, or Outlander from pretty much the 2012 all the way to the 2022 and even the 23s. I guarantee you're probably going to be the same freaking frame. They're not going to change much, but look, so let's get down to the basics. All you got to do is take out these two bolts and then take out these four and take out the two right here. So we're going to slide out the diff. I'm not going to disconnect anything. I'm not going to take off the tires or nothing because I'm showing you the fastest way, okay? Because I'm going to save you time and money. So let's do this. All right, guys. So this side's going to be a 15. This side is a 15 also. So 15s, 13, 15, 15, and then you can pull it out. But we'll take one step at a time. taking too long I need to work fast I hate when my tools are very slow much better and then pull them there you go so on the next step you're gonna have to get a 13 after you're under the bike go ahead and go under right there and right there is where you need to disconnect it all right guys so i've tried actually a variety of different tools here um i've tried this wrench and this one and they actually don't work because they're not you don't have that much room you need one of these with the ratcheting part built into it okay that's very important so and then when you loosen it up it's going to look something like that but that is going to get stuck in there because right now it is loose but it stays in there the but what I am doing is changing all the seals. It's the right thing to do. The two sides and the front pinion seal if you're ever going to do the differential seal. 115 down here. So the next part is going to be to take off these four bolts. Now this piece comes off. Now the only thing still holding the differential in is these two bolts up here. So there are two more 15s. Let's get them out. Okay, so now the differential is completely loose, and all you gotta do is pull off your vent line. Jeez, look how it looks this. Oh my gosh, if ever. Dude, there's nothing. Ah! There's no zip tie. Amazing! Or anything. Holy crap, what the heck? That is remarkable. All right, since it's so tough. Wow. Ah, I beat you. All right, so the next step is gonna be to grab onto this. You see how there's like a little line? This right here, I'll put this right here and I turn it to the left. See how I just popped out the axle? Okay, so that axle's out. See the orange piece? This axle has popped out. Let me show you again. I grab it with this big wrench and I turn to the left. Or I go like in towards the diff and it pops out the axle. Now I'm going to go on that side. This side is out. Okay, we got it out. Now let's pull this axle out. After that, get some paper towels, clean this up. Now here we see on the diff on this side, it has not been leaking, but on the other side, it definitely has been leaking. Um, and definitely when you see one seal is about to go, all of them are about to go. So. All I have to do now is pull these out with some little picks, put the new ones in, they're right here. All right, there's definitely water in there. <laughs> All right. So the easiest way to get this out is to, is to stick this in there 
and force it up. So do that all the way around. She popped out quicker than a Swiffer on a Thanksgiving. There we go. So to put the new seal in, you get the new seal. Make sure it's all clean in here. Now I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, anti-corrosive lubricant. You do whatever, WD-40, whatever the heck you got. Any type of lubricant. Put that on there. Get your socket that is the same size. I magically had one sitting there. I didn't plan that out. Knock her, knock her in there. You hear that, that little deeper knock? That's how you know it's all the way in. All right, there you go. And then there's a little bit of grease in there. Do not wipe that off. That is part of the new seal. There is like little spots of grease. That is for your axle so it does not rip. Do not wipe off that grease. If you wipe off that grease, this is gonna rip. Do what you want. Next side. There you go. Two broken seals. Get the new one, part number is 7055015556. Oil seal, it's the same one for both sides. And I'm gonna show you real quick in the camera. You see there is grease in there. You see what I'm saying? Don't wipe that off, please. Keep the grease in there. Don't take that off. I told you she was going to pop. Wipe it all up. You guys cannot smell this. It's it's like horrible. Like this whole differential smells like the back end of a swamp. Like it is disgusting smelling because this this just stuff just sits in there. <sighs> Anyways, let's go ahead and spray some uh, oil. This part number is 7055015557. 15 bucks. You see there's grease in there? I'll show it to you again. There's grease in there. Do not remove that. Keep it in there. We're going to put it on here. This is an oil filter uh, wrench that I had that is exactly the same size on the outer diameter. So I'm going to use that. This is the part that usually people are like, oh my gosh. Wow, I messed it up, man. I really messed up my seal. My seal has gone on sideways. It's all right, man. It's all right. All you got to do is just tap it down right here lightly, okay? So let's just tap it. And it'll work its way in there. You know? worked it in all the almost all the way I'm gonna place this back on the outer edge and finish it off with the oil filter cap that is a fully resealed differential right there the both ends are resealed boom this is done that's it all I got to do is put this back in the uh, four-wheeler okay now I'm gonna show you the quickest way to put it back in after you've done the repairs what I want to do is put these axles down Okay. All right, so to get the differential back in here, we're gonna put the differential right here. We're gonna put one side in first. All right. Amazing! Now we got one side on, and now with it leaning backwards, we're gonna put on this other side. This side slides right in as well. Boom. You just gotta mess with it a little wow. all right after you have it reattached as you see here um, go ahead and put your 13 millimeter bolt in the middle with Loctite as well and tighten that up 
all right when you're at this point now um i've already pushed in this axle i've put in the drive sha the drive shaft bolt um you we just have to move the differential back down align this bottom hole with this one and then not this bottom hole with this one this one is out you have a second hole a little bit right here where you can see this one's gonna line up with this hole right there just put your div bolts back in put 75w140 in the rear diff until it comes out of this fill plug put 7590 in the front differential put 75w140 in your transmission and in your engine 5w um 40 i believe is the or the can am oil change kit all right when you're all finished you should have these four bolts put back on they're 13 millimeters and these two are 15 put the hitch plate back on and you're all set ready to go make sure that your axles are both in and that's it thank you for watching